Let's end this week's Riders Block with some more football talk, of course. Let's turn to the NFL now as uh, we see the continuation of great seasons by both Lamar Jackson and Deshaun Watson, and you can chalk up another impressive win for those two against Tom Brady. Cedric, we saw it as, uh, you know, it just continues to look like we're seeing, I don't, I mean, I don't think that the NFL is ever going to get tired of great pocket passers like Tom Brady, but it sure seems like there's more and more openness to guys like Lamar Jackson, Deshaun Watson, Russell Wilson, on down the list of guys that are those run pass option quarterbacks becoming really, really hot in the NFL right now. It's it's the new trend and it's not going away. And if you look at Patrick Mahomes, he's known as a big time thrower. But if you watch last week, he was scooting around. He scored a 15 yard touchdown run. He can run, too. I think that finally the college game the spread has made its way into the NFL. Uh, you don't hear them saying things like pro style offense. No, this is the new pro style offense. Three wides, let the quarterback move around and hit his first read. And if it's not there, run five or six yards for a first down. Mm -hmm. I've watched Deshaun Watson and Lamar Jackson take apart a very good New England secondary because of RPOs, run, pass, options. Yeah. And those are hard to defend. And I think that with this old guard of quarterbacks, Tom Brady, uh, Phillip Rivers, Drew Brees, these are guys that were pocket passers. Now, Aaron Rodgers is an RPO guy. Yeah. He can move. But there are more guys that are coming into the league that are similar to Aaron Rodgers where they can use their legs to keep a play alive and make plays downfield. I'm very impressed with Lamar Jackson. I never thought he'd be this good. Yeah. He's got uh, 25 touchdowns, five interceptions, and uh, he's rushed for 977 yards. It's an unbelievable season. He's going to win the MVP. Yeah, it is an unbelievable season. You know, and I think, uh, I know from, and you've seen this too, Cedric, you know, we've seen the, as the colleges as, have evolved and sort of brought in the, the run pass option and the mobile quarterbacks more. You know, I think there's sort of a, a hesitation sometimes when you get your quarterbacks out running around and, you know, are they exposed to more injury? And that's always a concern. Anytime a quarterback is taking the ball, taking the hits instead of handing it off or passing it to a teammate to take that hit. It obviously creates a little bit of a, you know, stomach in your throat moment for a lot of people in the NFL when you're talking about the money. But I think if you look around the league when it comes to injuries and those sorts of things, Cedric, right now we've got as many guys that are sort of that more typical pocket passer guy that are hurt as much as, you know, anybody. So I just think with the evolution of defenses and players faster and faster, having a guy that, you know, maybe he's not your first run option, but a guy that can elude, that's almost invaluable right now. I mean, you almost have to have a guy that's not a statue in the pocket anymore. And you look at people like Vince Young. Vince Young's got to be going, man, if I had just come <laughs> along 15 years later. Yeah. This is what Vince Young did in college, Jen. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is uh, Lamar Jackson is is a a little lesser version of Vy Classic, yeah. 05. So I think I think that these offensive coordinators have figured out that my guy might not get killed if I move him. Look at Kyler Murray scooting around. He's 5'10", 100 and nothing yeah. pounds. And he hasn't gotten blown up because Kyler Murray knows that he gets outside the pocket, he can slide or get his little butt out of bounds. And Lamar Jackson is smart enough, too. Now, I'm going to tell you one thing, Jen, that worries me moving forward. I think Lamar Jackson takes some hits. I think he takes a lot of big hits mm -hmm. because he's a tough guy. The question that Baltimore ask, must ask itself moving forward uh, because he's going to get 40 plus million when his rookie deal is up. Can we invest in this guy for six or seven years mm. and hope he doesn't get killed in the meantime? Because what he is playing is a very physical brand of ball. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And Cedric, you looked at it and his his salary this year, 
for what he's doing and the waves he's making in the NFL. I mean, it's pe- talk about peanuts earlier in the show. He's making peanuts, Cedric. $910,000 wow. this year. And so he's going to eventually make $40 million. Dak Prescott's going to make $40 million. He's another guy that we didn't mention. Dak Prescott uses his legs as well. Yeah. And, and Patrick Mahomes is going to eventually make $50 million. There will always be room for great pocket passers. Trevor Lawrence, I think, will have a good NFL career. Justin Herbert from Oregon, I think, will be a good NFL quarterback. But these guys that can move, Jen, they are they are starting to change the landscape of NFL offenses as we know them. Yeah, and it's going to be great to see what what they do the rest of the year. I mean, you talk about Jackson, Watson, Wilson, all in the running right now for the MVP. Although I'm with you, Cedric. Don't you think Lamar is sort of separated at this point from the rest of the field? Yeah, he's the guy. I mean, his team's great. They've rallied around him. He has been a he's been a phoenix rising from the ashes this year. I can't believe what he has done. And he's got Hollywood Brown at receiver and yep. Mark Andrews, a couple of Sooners. I think and I, and, I, and I think he mixes them in well. But he is the guy on that team. I'm going to be very interested to see if that translates to the playoffs. He's going to probably end up hosting every playoff game. Yeah. Tom Brady may have to see him instead of him going to see Tom Brady. So <laughs> yeah. I, I'm very impressed with Lamar Jackson. Some people are eating crow uh, that said that he should move to receiver, that a team shouldn't draft him. Yeah. That lets you know that this game is ever evolving and it's fun to watch. Yeah, if Lamar Jackson would have been better at receiver, that would have really been something. I think we're seeing, uh, as you said, I think we are seeing a change that uh, may continue for a long time to come. We'll talk about that and probably a lot more next week. We'll have that college football playoff field set. We'll also know who's headed to New York City for the Heisman Trophy ceremony. So lots to talk about. You won't want to miss it. We'll see you then.